Hello everyone. Uh, we are continuing uh, Dream Children a reverie. Uh, let us have a quick recap of the portions we have uh, learned in the last class. The paragraph we studied in the last class tells how young Charles Lamb spent his vacation in his big house at Norfolk. He roamed in the garden, observed the fruits on the trees. Uh, for him, they were forbidden fruits because uh, he knew that the house was not theirs. He was more interested in enjoying the sunlight and uh, watching the fish in the pond rather than on fruits. Hearing this, John one of the dream children deposited back the bunch of grapes he had taken. Uh, that's where we stopped in the last class and now we are continuing from there. Then, in somewhat a more heightened tone, uh, heightened tone means increasing the emotional impact, the voice Charles Lamb's voice changes, the tone of voice changes to increase the emotional impact. I told how, though their great-grandmother field loved all her grandchildren, yet in an especial manner she might be said to love their uncle L. Uncle L means uh, John Lamb, Charles Lamb's elder brother. See, what it is said here is that great-grandmother field considered all her grandchildren alike, loved them all alike, but yet uh, she had a special uh, uh, affection for John Lamb, uh, who was Charles Lamb's elder brother. Uh, why she was, uh, she had a peculiar affection for John Lamb? What was the reason? The reason was that because he was so handsome and spirited a youth. So the boy was so handsome and spirited, energetic a youth and a king to the rest of us. A king to the rest of us means all other children considered John Lamb as a hero, uh, as a king. Uh, and uh, instead of mop mopping about in solitary corners like some of us, he would mound the most mettlesome horse he could get. See, instead of mopping, mopping means move about in a sad manner, sadly. Instead of mopping, instead of moving about sadly about in the solitary corners like some of us, he would mound. Mound means on top of, climb on top of the most metalsome. Metalsome means energetic, uh, vigorous, aggressive, aggressive horse, wild horse he could get. So instead of walking uh, here and there in a sad mood, he used to, John Lamb used to climb on top of uh, one of the metalsome horses he could get. When but an imp no bigger than themselves. This, when but an imp no bigger than themselves means John Lamb was not a very big fellow to climb on top of uh, such a vigorous horse. He was a, only a very small boy, just like these people, other children. And make it, make it means make the horse carry him half over the county, half over the place in, in the morning and join hunters when there were any, there were any out. So he was a very, uh, he was an adventurer. He used to climb a very energetic horse there and make the horse carry him all over the place in one morning. And he would also join the hunters, uh, hunting people there if there any any of them were out and yet he loved the old grand great old great house and gardens too 
but had too much spirit to be always pent up pent up means hidden within their boundaries so though he was an adventurer and uh, would like to travel everywhere he also liked the great old house and gardens just like charles lamb and had too much spirit and he had too much spirit or too much energy uh, hidden within the boundaries within the within his mind and uh, how their uncle grew up to a man's estate grew up to man's estate as brave as he was handsome to the admiration of everybody but of the great grandmother field most especially when he grew up uh, he uh, he owned uh, an estate uh, and he was as brave and uh, uh, he proved himself to be brave as well as he is handsome and he became rich he uh, earned an estate and he won the admiration of everybody uh, especially great grandmother field and it is continued that charles lamb again remembers how he john lamb used to carry me upon his back when i was a lame footed boy so lame footed boy means a physically disabled boy when charles lamb was a physically disabled boy when he was in child when he was a child john lamb his brother used to carry charles lamb on his back Uh, for he was a uh, he was a good bit older than me uh, many a mile when i could not walk for pain so we must uh, we understand that uh, john lamb was a good bit older than charles lamb and he used to carry uh, charles lamb on his back as lamb was not able to wa- walk because of pain and uh, how in after life he became lame footed too so charles lamb remembers that and after a while after some time john lamb himself became a lame footed physically disabled and i did not always i fear make allowances enough for him when he was impatient and in pain so charles lamb uh, with some guilt in his mind he remembers that when uh, john lamb became uh, lame footed physically disabled later in his life charles lamb was not able to make allowances considerations enough for him when he was impatient and in pain so though john lamb uh, took care of charles lamb very much when he was a lame footed boy uh charles lamb remembers with guilt that uh, he was not able to take care of uh, his brother when he became a lame footed man later in his life uh, nor remember sufficiently how considerate he had been to me when i was lame footed so he feels a guilt in his mind that when charles lamb was lame footed john lamb his brother was so considerate he was not able to return that feeling and how when he died though he had not been dead an hour it seemed as if he had died a great while ago so when john lamb died charles lamb felt that uh, he had died a long while ago though Uh, he had been dead only an hour so such a distance is there between betwixt between life and death so he uh, charles lamb feels that there was such a great distance between life and death and how i bore his death uh, as i thought pretty well at first but afterward it haunted and haunted me so uh, charles lamb remember how sad he was when john lamb died uh, and uh, after uh, at that time he felt it was all right but later afterward uh, it haunted and haunted me uh, 
do you know the reason why he felt haunted the reason was that charles lamb was not able to return the affection and love that john lamb had shown to him when he was a boy and though i did not cry or take it to heart as someone do as i think he would have done if i had died yet i missed him all day long no charles lamb himself feel that if charles lamb had died uh, john lamb would have been really unhappy and he would have cried but still uh, lamb didn't feel like crying uh, and uh, but yet he admit that he missed him all the day and uh, knew not till then how much i had loved him and only after he died that charles lamb realized that how much he had loved him and uh, i missed his kindness i missed his crossness crossness means bad temper bad mood and i wished him to be alive again he felt that john lamb was alive again to be quarreling with him to be quarreling with him for he quarreled sometimes rather than not have him again so uh, he wished him alive in order to quarrel so it was rather than being dead we wished us having quarrel with him so when they were children they used to quarrel with each other and uh, now and when he died now he felt that he he even wanted uh, to remember the quarrels they had when he was alive and and was as uneasy and happy without him and as he their poor uncle must have been when the doctor took off his limb so he remembers the time when the doctor uh, advised doctor suggested to uh, take his limb ampute his limb and when the when this story was told to the children here the children fell like crying and asked if their little mourning Uh, which they had on was not for uncle john and uh, now the children became very sad listening to the stories of john lamb how doctor took off uh, his limb when he was uh, in his old age and children started crying and children asked john uh, asked charles lamb whether their mourning little mourning they had Uh, was for uncle john so they used to mourn in their childhood and they now remember that their mourning was for uncle john and but now they asked him to stop uh, telling stories about uncle john uh, instead they asked him to tell some stories about their pretty dead mother so now the children became very sad listening to stories of uncle john and they wanted to hear some stories about their pretty dead mother so uh, go through the text and we will stop here and continue in the next class